and they can occur anywhere in the body, and they're also called strawberry hemangiomas. Um, they usually um, can get very large up until a certain age, and then they can dissipate and sometimes disappear at four or five years of age and sometimes even earlier. If they occur on the child's scalp, which is very commonly seen, or on the back, uh, they're really conditions which don't require any kind of care. But if they occur on the human eye, what happens is it can either cause the eyelid to droop, which would prevent the child from seeing appropriately, and the child could develop a lazy eye. And if they're this severe, it can actually occlude the vision completely. Even a, even a very simple strawberry hemangioma or capillary hemangioma in this area here can sometimes cause compression of the cornea. In that case, it will create a certain amount of astigmatism, and this refractive imbalance from one eye to the other can actually cause the child to lose vision and develop an amblyopia. They can be treated, though. Uh, and nowadays, um, we can either patch the good eye to make the child use this eye, treat them with the appropriate glasses to correct the astigmatism, and if medical treatment is needed, we can actually treat the child with either steroid injections, oral steroids, and now we even can treat them with something called beta blockers or, tim or, or timolol. Uh, we've been getting very good effects of um, use of this medication, not just orally but topically, and uh, to reduce the size and shrink the capillary hemangiomas. In other words, near the eye, when it can affect vision, that's something you cannot just ignore. You must attend. No, you cannot ignore capillary hemangiomas. Even one as innocent as this small one here, uh, it can cause significant visual problems. The large ones is more of an emergency because you're absolutely occluding all of the vision, and the visual the vision will be lost very quickly.